A billionaire who is also a cryptocurrency investor and enthusiast, Mark Cuban, has said that all Cardano holders will become rich in 2022. So has Cardano been added to your investment portfolio yet? Take a look at this video to find out why Mark Cuban thinks you can become rich if you do so. In this video, I will share with you why I believe Mark Cuban is right that Cardano holders will become rich in 2022. It is evident that since the beginning of the year in 2021, Cardano has gone by huge numbers. And we all know that despite still being in its infancy, Cardano has captured the attention of many potential investors around the world. Recently, Mark Cuban is also showing much interest in ADA, together with some crypto enthusiasts who are wealthy investors, television personalities, and billionaires entrepreneurs. So how does ADA work? Charles Hoskinson, the CEO of Cardano, has been in discussions with Mark on Twitter the past few days, where Hoskinson outlined briefly why Cardano and ADA do what they do. And in their conversation, Mark seems to be rooting for Cardano and showed a great deal of excitement about it. Moreover, the Dallas Mavericks owner may be considering adding ADA to his team. And in case you might not know, Mark Cuban has always been a very picky investor. Therefore, we can conclude that he sees something positive about Cardano. Yet, what could be so positive? Cardano's greatness lies in several factors. Mark has a lot of favorites, and it is hard to pick out which ones are his favorites. As a fan of smart contracts and dApps, Mark's interests might lie somewhere around those things, but he might also be interested in others. Those of you who are unfamiliar with Mark Cuban might wonder who he is. He is one of the biggest tycoons in America, so why the fuss over Cardano? What is something that interests him? Here is an overview of the investment choices he made, which will give you a clearer picture of his philosophy. Currently, he is the owner of the Dallas Mavericks and NBA team. As a teen, Mark was determined to do something big after growing up in a middle-class family. After a neighborhood trash bike sale, he began his entrepreneurial journey. Over his lifetime, he was involved in many businesses before founding his own. Later, he joined AudioNets and became one of the largest shareholders after selling the company in 1990 for $6 million. As the company became extremely popular, Mark quickly joined the billionaire club, and he acquired the Dallas Mavericks in 2000. Even though Mark came to the market relatively late, there is no doubt that he holds a dominant position in the crypto world. Previously, Mark used Dogecoin to purchase Dallas Mavericks merchandise. He recently made investments in Zapper.fi and D-Climate, which he brought in May and June. So, taking an interest in Cardano recently was just right for Mark Cuban. Mark's participation in the third-generation blockchain platform has been very successful in the past few months, and the price will most likely skyrocket as a result. During the first three quarters of 2021, Cardano's rate of growth was very fast. A few days before 2022, ADA was worth $1.38 and was down by 0.1% only from its previous price. In a tweet exchange between Mark Cuban and Charles Hoskinson, the CEO of Cardano last May, Mark expressed interest in working for the company. Mark asked what ADA was used for, initiating the conversation. So how could it be applied to daily life? Additionally, he said that he was able to answer the question regarding all of his crypto coins. Having explained how ADA works and how it has impacted globalization, Charles Hoskinson provided a brief yet detailed response. So the open source platform Cardano makes smart contracts easily accessible to everyone. Earlier, we mentioned that Mark Cuban always looks for smart contracts when investing in cryptos. Therefore, as expected, Mark announced his support for him in reply. Moreover, Cuban stated that it is in everyone's best interest to have as many options as possible. In the long run, however, it seems to come down to utility and marketing based on his tweeting history. As for Cardano's apps, he's happy to buy them when he comes across apps that he thinks he might benefit from. Hoskinson then went on to explain more about ADA and how it has greater potential in the future than Ethereum. Even though we only know the official conversation Hoskinson and Cuban had on Twitter, they may have communicated in private concerning Mark's involvement with the Cardano world. So there can be no telling what else is to come just yet since we can't see that personal space. Meanwhile, Mark is a somewhat finicky investor, and he looked into many different types of investments before he ignored most of them. In that case, Mark's attention is turning 
turning towards Cardano, which is very beneficial for cryptocurrency. Furthermore, Mark's basketball team, the Dallas Mavericks, began accepting cryptocurrency recently and is also linked to the cryptocurrency platform. At the moment, Dogecoin is accepted as a form of payment at Mavericks. But why is Dogecoin his choice? According to its blog post, Mark mentioned that Dogecoin had the most predictable inflation, and this means that its future price can be predicted and there is a lower amount of uncertainty. The Dogecoin payment system is thus deemed to be a suitable one. In that sense, one follower explained that ADA can be used for merchandise purchases, and Mark was even excited about being able to sell merchandise for ADA. Even though Dogecoin has a truly active community and very low transaction fees, it does have some limitations. Despite its origin as a joke, it is said that the development team for Dogecoin is not very promising. Furthermore, there is insufficient technical support available and no innovation is provided. In contrast, Cardano and its currency are constantly making improvements and adding new technology almost every month. So where does Ethereum fit in? As Mark Cuban has revealed, he owns large amounts of Ethereum and is a big fan of smart contracts. However, investors like Mark, who are losing hope over its high transaction fees and slow speed, are looking for alternative options. To put it simply, imagine paying $10 for a $1 transaction. That's right, this is how Ethereum works. With Cardano, you have access to a proof-of-stake network as well as smart contracts. Furthermore, it claims to achieve the highest number of transactions per second of any cryptocurrency. Also, the community is better and the transaction fees are lower. Additionally, this third generation blockchain network also supports conversions between currencies such as Ethereum and ADA or vice versa. Further with Cardano, one hopes to create an application platform for dApps and DeFi applications that is completely decentralized. In this case, Mark saw the greater picture because he knows Cardano holds the potential to make a significant difference to the world and strongly supports Cardano, noting that he's rooting for it. In addition, he believes that Cardano is highly relevant for his business needs as there are multiple factors he can use. Smart contracts, for example, are self-executing and present a tremendous opportunity to any field whose transactions are driven by data. With smart contracts, transactions are more accurate, transparent, expedient, and secure. For instance, Eurex and CME, which operate exchange services, charge higher fees for trading and the possibility of errors always exists. Mark Cuban is a fan of smart contracts and has repeatedly invested in them over the years. Being a busy man, it is unlikely that he'll have a lot of time to waste waiting for his transfer. With the help of Cardano's smart contracts feature, he is sure to be able to help speed things up with his many businesses. Further, the fact that Mark Cuban is interested in dApps and that he would consider investing in Cardano if he found some cool applications that he could use himself has already been discussed. Also, the campaign to achieve protection by Cardano has been intense. In the aftermath of the end of the Gogoin era, it will be easier than ever to create dApps with Cardano. Keeping market capital and base in mind, ADA has now ranked six among cryptocurrencies. After the platform's recent successful Alonzo White hard fork, it is now going through the Alonzo Purple hard fork which will be set up in phases. By simply increasing the number of people that can use smart contracts, many more people will be able to utilize them. And as the Gogoin era begins, Cardano will look to enhance its functionality and differentiate itself from other cryptocurrencies. Additionally, according to some cryptocurrency experts, the price of $5 to $10 is expected for Cardano in 2022. In some cases, the market can also reach margins of $15 if it gets a boost. Further, it is good news that Cardano's coin has attracted the interest of Mark Cuban, meaning they can expect a significant investment very soon if he hasn't already invested privately. Is it possible for ADA to make its holders rich in 2022? Even though cryptocurrencies fluctuate and anything can happen at any moment, Cardano's use cases will make Cardano holders rich in 2022, highly probable soon. Don't forget to enter the giveaway. Look in the comments section for what to do. Make sure you click the subscribe and bell buttons.